with your phone. It's hard. So if you got this pretty blue color. Hey you guys, just wanted to hop on here real quick and show you what I'm doing. Um, this will probably be a full um video, but yeah. So I'm just gonna be decluttering my makeup. And sorry if I'm my hand is shaking, like I'm holding my phone recording. So I'm just gonna show you what I'll be decluttering. So hold on while I show you. Let's see if I could. Are you filming with the with your phone? It's hard to flip your camera around. Um, but hold on, let's see. I may have to just stop and then do it. All right, hey you guys, I had to like stop recording and then flip my phone around. But like I'm just doing makeup to clutter, my palettes, brushes. I have some makeup right here, and then this whole drawer is full of makeup palettes, foundation, more palettes, powder. I'm just gonna declutter all of that. We'll go through it anyway. See what's what, see what's expired. And I figured you guys wouldn't mind seeing it. I know I just watched like several decluttered videos this morning before I started work, but yeah. So stay tuned. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know you can't see my face, but as you can tell by the title and what I mentioned before, this is a makeup declutter. I know I did a makeup declutter before in the past. I don't remember how long ago I did it, but it's time to do it again. I mean, it's not much, but I know I need to declutter, so yeah. So, hi. If you even saw me there. Let me just adjust my camera. It looks because I'm using like a bigger tripod because I have like a smaller one, but I needed the bigger one. But this is all the makeup I have. But let's declutter. I just need to put my trash can next to me so I can see. So we'll start. Well, first, let me grab some baby wipes because I don't know if you could tell, but there's some things that are dusty. And sorry for the music outside. Um, it's a nice day, so apparently people want to be outside and not inside, and they should be social distancing. But as long as I am, then yeah. So we're gonna start with in these two drawers. And we're just going to clutter. And I don't know how long this video is going to be. It may be like a two-parter video. Which I guess I should... I guess that makes me think, should I break it up and do foundation first? Okay, I think I'm going to do that. We're going to declutter foundation and concealer first. So, let's get started. So, I need to move these out the way. This right here is all the foundation I have. And concealer I have. Like these these are concealers. So we're just gonna work with that right now. So let's see. First we have up uh, are my ColourPop concealers. I mean concealers. My ColourPop foundations. And they are just the stick foundations. I have the color Dark 67W, Dark 175W, and Dark 65 Neutral. I think, which one did I use for my wedding day? I think this is the one I used for my wedding day. I do still plan on doing a wedding series about, if you guys can see that, about my makeup and what happened and so on and so forth but um these are the foundations and i do plan on keeping all of these i really love color pop foundations so i'm gonna just keep them and i'm gonna make a keep pile over here and when i say over here i'm gonna be on my desk 
This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage in 310. This is really thick and we'll see. But I think I've had this for so long. It's like expired. Let me see how long it says you can keep it to. I don't even see an expiration date, you guys. I don't know how long you keep these for, but I know I've had it for at least two years. And I don't see an expiration date, so I'm going to just put it off to the side and declutter this anyway. Just be on the safe side. Next we have my other foundation, L'Oreal Paris. This is Infallible Pro Matte in 109. And this is actually really good. Like, I really like this one. So this, I'll be repurchasing this. I just had it for so long that it has expired. So I have to get rid of it. And this doesn't even have an expiration date on. But I know I've had this for like two years. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Sorry if I shake my hair just got caught to the tripod. But um, next we have Black Opal True Color Foundation. And this is like a foundation stick. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to declutter this. Cause I know I've had these for at least two years as well and I don't really reach for them as often so I'm gonna just get rid of these and if you're wondering I'm in a color rich caramel and truly cho truly um topaz so rich caramel looks like this I just showed you to the topaz which caramel is a little bit lighter this is the color I usually in in um the winter months the cooler months basically and I'm still this color right now like I don't have a tan it's just like now starting to warm up and this is the truly tropaz I keep saying tropaz it's topaz that's what it looks like but I really like these when I use them and I may repurchase like one of them because it's about to be warmer and I made the tan so I may just repurchase the truly um, topaz one and I found these at um, Walmart and you can also get them at Rite Aid. Next I have like my Holy Grail of foundation, which is the L'Oreal Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And this is a color 338 Spicy Brown. And this is the color I am in the summer. But I've had it for a really long time. And it's time to declutter you. And you're supposed to keep these for... I can't find an expiration date in this, you guys. Let's see. I'm open. If you want to do, open up the tab right here to see if it says it. I don't even know if this is it. I'm not totally sure. But I'm just going to open this. Oh, it does. 12 months. So I've had this for long enough. And it's time to get rid of it. And it's like... Well, I don't know if you can see it. But it's a little white. Right there. So I'm going to just get rid of this. I don't think I have a backup to that, but yeah. Next I have our the Maybelline Fit Me in 335. This is the color I am in the cooler months and part of the warmer months. I don't usually get a tan until like June, but this is really good. And this is new, so I'm not decluttering this. Like I haven't used this. This is new. And then I also have... The Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth one. This is new because I really wanted to try it. And this is a 330 Toffee. But I haven't tried it yet. It's brand new. Maybe I could do a video of like new products. Next I have... I know this is concealer right here, but we'll get to that. Next I have my Fenty. And I love this foundation as well. This is um, the uh, the first release, I guess you could say. The Fenty um, Pro Filter in 370. Like I went to Sephora and got color match. Like I have the really, I have skin that's like in between of an in between color. And it's just the worst. <laughs> but this was the closest shade I came to. But I also got 
380 and that works for me as well so I could use these two and I also want to buy 385 I haven't bought them yet I don't know why I haven't bought them yet but I have to buy it I guess I keep forgetting but I have to buy it in my summer shade but I could also do pull 380 in the summer as well my summer shade is 390 but I'm not declaring this I really love these and these are really good Next we have, oh, we'll do this later because this is not foundation. Next we have more ColourPop. And these are the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. And I have the color Dark 160 and Dark 175. 160 is my winter shade. I have multiple winter shades in this and multiple um, summer shades in this. But three, these are the ones I have used that really work really well. But I'm keeping these. I really like these. I haven't used them in a while, so maybe I used them. Last time I used foundation was sadly like a full like full face of foundation, like makeup, was my wedding day. And that was in September. But and I did my own makeup, it came out really well. You guys may have seen pictures. If not, I'll show you some. Or you could hop on my Instagram and see a picture too. And of course I'm gonna recreate the look for you guys. Let me just check how much time I have left. Sorry, my finger was just all in the camera. Okay, next we have more ColourPop foundations. I haven't used these yet, so I'm not decluttering them. I have the color Dark 170, Dark 165, and Dark 155. I may give 155 away because it's a little too light for me. But these are like work for me now. Like I could use this for my shade now and use this one now or summer. But 155 is a little too bright for me. And this is what it looks like it looks too bright. And then I like this in my complexion. But I know it may seem like it may work, but on my face, nope. Like I'm totally being played. This does not work for me. So I may just give it away. Next we have a more recent purchase. This is the ColourPop um, Pretty Fresh. Sorry, I had to move the pause. Um, foundation in the color Medium. Can you see that? Focus. Focus medium dark 16 in this works for me but i know i go like to like 17 even 18 but like i feel this works for me for now but now i'm gonna have to get a darker shade maybe i'll do a video on this next we have our concealer and we'll start with the concealer that i have over here so this is new I just wanted to purchase a backup because this is like my favorite concealer from ColourPop. And my favorite concealer in general. So, And this is the Dark 42, which was originally known as Dark 60, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm definitely keeping that. Next I have the LA Girl Pro. But... I just saw that I have more ColourPop, so we're going to get those out the way. So, these are the other ColourPop. And yes, they're heavily used because I really like doing concealer. Or, like, just using them for, like, um, no makeup makeup look. And I have the color Tan 50. Deep Tan 55. Deep Golden 60. I think this is, like, my favorite one. Deep Dark 52. in golden 40 so i'm keeping these but they really do come in handy for no makeup makeup looks as you can tell because i use them a lot next we have the color not color pop the um la girl concealers I have recently decluttered some and I don't know why I didn't film it or save it for this video, but yeah. 
So I have these ones and the colors I use are Almond, Fawn, Beautiful Bronze, and Toffee. But I've had these for so long. They're OG. I have to repurchase them. So they're definitely gotta say bye. We gotta go. Sorry. But yeah. So they're going. So next, <laughs> we're gonna jump into. I'm gonna just interject and say we're gonna save palettes for last because as you can see, there's a lot. But we're going to um do setting setting sprays next because I don't have too many. I just have one that I use, which I've been meaning to try other ones. I just use the ColourPop All Star Face Setting Spray, and that's just what it looks like. I really like it. Sometimes the pump gets me, like it's just hard to spray, but I really like it. But I do want to try more setting sprays. So if you guys have any recommendations, please recommend them. Next I have, we're going to do primer. And I have the Fenty um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer. And this is what it looks like. I really like this stuff. It's really good. So I'm keeping that. And I only have two primers. So I only have the Matte and Blur Primer from ColourPop. So I'm keeping these that I have. Again, if you guys have any other primers that you would suggest... Please put them in the comment section. Next, we have. Sorry, I paused and looked at the time because I have like a meeting at like five o'clock, but it's like three forty-five. Um, and then I have to film this video because obviously it's in parts. I'm gonna just move that out the way. So next, we're gonna do powder. Well, actually, we're going to do powder. Um, I'll save these for the do in the eyes. So now we're going to do powder. Yay. So I have the no filter setting powder from Coat Pop, one of my favorite powders. This is in um, banana. And I really like it a lot. Like another thing I used for my wedding day. So I'm keeping that. Um, things are falling. Next we have the Pro Powder. And this one looks like Ellie Girl. And this, I don't use this that much. I don't reach for it a lot. So I'm definitely going to get rid of it. But I also think it has expired. And it says 36 months. But I've had it for probably longer than that. I'm positive. So I'm going to get rid of that. Next, I have the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. And I've had these for just as long as I've had the other one. And this also says 36 months. Like, these are really good, so I'm going to have to repurchase them. I purchased this from um, Shop Miss A's site. You know, like back in the day when Shop Miss A first started. Um, they had a sister site. That's where I purchased this from. I don't know if they're in existence anymore, their sister site. But this is where I purchased it from. And I really like it. But I gotta get more of this. I really like it. Because these aren't in... I know so you can find, like, LA Girl products in, like, your local beauty supply store. But the only thing I've seen in my local beauty supply store are the, conceal or the, are the concealers. I haven't seen the powders. But I really like these. These are really good. And I usually use these for, um all over like setting my whole face and these work really good my favorite one is the classic tan that's what this one is not open so you guys can see it but it has a really pretty color the camera's not doing no justice and next one is this is the warm honey a little bit lighter but like my favorite one is the classic tan one Next, we have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I love this. This works really good in the color Medium Deep. This is just what it looks like, but I love it. 
Wait, wait, it's stuck. There we go. I'm keeping that. I'm not getting rid of it. Next we have the original formula of Airspun. Kati Airspun. I've had this for a while now, but I don't reach for it. I don't see the expiration date on it. Yeah, I don't see the expiration date on it. But I'm getting rid of it. I don't reach for it. And the reason I do, I've heard like really good things about it, but the reason I don't reach for it is really strong. Like the smell is so strong. And I don't like strong smells like this. It's just way too like it's super perfumey. And it's so strong and it just like irritates my nose. So I haven't used this. I think I used it once or twice since I bought it. And I bought it like a long time ago. So and I tried to like it and give it a chance, but no. Like I can't use this. I mean the good thing about it, it didn't cost that much. I think it cost like four ninety eight because I got it from Walmart. But other than that, like no. I just mm -mm. it's too strong. But it may work for other people, but the smell is just way too strong for me. And I really like my ColourPop one and my Maybelline Fit Me one a lot better. But also if you guys would like me to try any new powders, please let me know. But this is definitely just like no. And that, I think that was all for the powders. My hands are so dusty. Next we're doing lip liners. Should we do lip liners next? Hmm. I'm thinking and I'm making this feel super long. So next we're gonna do the lip liner is gonna take a, is a whole video in itself. So we're gonna stay tuned for lip liners. We're gonna stay tuned for that. We're gonna do lit all lip products in the next video for declutter. So stay tuned for part two. But yes. Hey you guys, so I'm back and then now for part two. We're about to do the lip products. So that's what we're doing. I don't know what that was. Don't judge. I've been in the house for like 14 days. Well, more than 14 days. I've been in the house since the 12th. I've been in the house for 16 days. Don't judge me. Don't judge. I'm not judging you. But anyway, the clutter the lip products. So now we have um liquid lips, more liquid lips, um the velvet lips and some of the blur from ColourPop. The lippy um sticks. And I think I got some more, like, I think it's Nika. Nika K. Um, lips. These two. My bowl fell, if you wonder what that noise was. And the LA Girl. No. Wet and Wild lip color. My favorite one I got from Rite Aid. So, we're just going to hop in. And as you can see, I really love ColourPop. Again, don't judge. Do not judge. <laughs> So we'll start with the products over here. Some of these I've had for years since I first heard of ColourPop, since ColourPop first started. And I just couldn't part ways with, but it's time to go because they're old. So I'm just taking a handful and this is what we're starting with. And I don't, like I have one base, one set of lips. Well, I'm going to do all these lip products. So, this is R&B. Throwback, I know. The whole, like, packaging like, rubbed off. With most of them. This is Speed Dial. This one is Monday. I really tried to like this, but it was too light. It was one of those things where it looked darker online than it did in person. And I really tried to use this, but it didn't work out. So, these are gonna go. Because I don't 
hope you use them and i know especially this one is expired so they're going bye bye next we have oh sorry the color pop and hello kitty collab and i just had like one thing from the collab and that was the color mimi as you can see it's like really separated and just like mm, looks really disgusting so this has got to go and this is um their ultra matte lip this is matte too this is another color pop this is in mink i don't use this really pretty color but i don't use it and it's expired same with sunday i had sunday and monday I know you guys remember when they came out the days of the week. This one, mm -mm, just way too light. I don't use it. I'm not going to use it. So, yeah. Next, we have Bumble. Like, I really like this. I got some really good use out of this. I really like this color, Bumble. I'm not sure if they still have this or any of the ones I'm mentioning. But if they do, I definitely would repurchase this. This one definitely got a lot of use out of it. But it has to go. Then we have Teeny Tiny. I use this a lot. Um, Just for some reference. I used this like. I remember specifically when I wore this. For my 25th birthday. And that was like two years ago. So. My 25th or my 24th birthday. One of them. But it's a really pretty color. I remember eating Chipotle. And lipstick was all over my Chipotle. But I didn't care. But I really like this color. Sorry if it's blurry. I don't think it's going to get unblurry. Because it's focused on the background. There we go. Then we have. Um, Barracuda. Gotta go. Stingray. An OG. I may just keep this for the nostalgia of it. And not use it. But if you, just remember, if you remember. This was a um, Colourpop Times. Um, it's my Ray Ray collab. I really like this one. I have her other one as well. Next we have Tool. This gotta go. It's just old and part in ways with itself. <laughs> and then we have Polished, which is, which is a um, ultra glossy lip. And this was a Karuchi Tom's Colourpop brand. I didn't wear this a lot. But this was a gloss. But I didn't wear it a lot. A beautiful like coppery color. But it has to go because it's old. But they might still have this online. But yeah. Next up. I think we're just going to continue. Just We're just going to go this way. We have the lipsticks. Or the lippy sticks, I should say. I think I have all of them. Sorry if you just saw my hair. <laughs> I was trying to see if I had all of them. But I decluttered so many of these and just kept the ones I really like. So some of these are fairly new. Like I haven't had them from that long. So who run this? If it could focus. But I really like this color. Not planning on keeping it. Can I open it one here? Yep. This is what it looks like. But I'm keeping this. Sorry if it's blurry, you guys. I'm keeping that. Maybe I should try to put all up at once. But I'm keeping that. Then we have Cat Capiche, Mosh Pit, Goldie, and Cami. And these are matte. These three are matte X. These are Capiche, Goldie, and Cami are matte X. And Mosh Pit is only matte. But I'm keeping these. And this, basically the color right here is what you see in the tube. But like I really like Goldie. And I'm keeping, um, I think I could part ways with Cami. So I'm keep, get rid of Capiche. I really like the neutralness of it. I know is that even a word neutralness, but it 
can go because I have another lipstick that looks just like this. Mosh Pit is like a nice, more on the browner side. But I'm going to keep this one and get rid of the other two. Next we have Gold Digger. This is the Matt X Gold Digger. My bad. Focus. Focus. It's semi-focused. There we go. But I'm keeping this one because I really like it. Lady is so old. Like, I had this for so long, so I'm getting rid of that. Keep Keeping Gold Digger, get rid of Lady. Trust me, it's old. It's like a really true red color. I'm going to get rid of that one. Then we have Chateau, which is also really old. It's got to go. And then we have Parker. And all of these are matte or matte X, by the way, you guys. Parker is relatively new to my collection, so I'm going to keep it. And Hollywood Boulevard, same. That's pretty new. And it's a nice brown color. So I'm keeping that. Ziggy and Secret Stash. I'm keeping those two. Then I have Pitch. Pitch is so old, but it's like a really deep brown color. I really like it, especially when I was looking for a really deep brown color. But it's really old and it got to go. And I think I have another nice brown color that I could use anyway, because I still want to do like a 90s look video, which will be coming up in the near future before the springtime. Well, it is spring, but before the springtime, summertime is in full effect. But this has got to go. And I have Razor, which is the other ColourPop Toms. It's my Ray Ray collection. And I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to use it because it's expired and, it's, and I've had it for so long since it like first came out. But the nostalgia of it and keeping it just because. And it doesn't, like the line doesn't exist anymore. I'll figure it out. Then I have Daydream and Grunge. They both can go because they're old. But I'm not sure, if, again, if they're they're really good. So I may purchase them again if they're still available. But they could go. I have no hard feelings about parting ways. Be free. Next we have just lip, like lip products. Like, of course, they're all lip products. <laughs> um, but the lip scrub and the matching lippy balm. And these really well. Like, I've used this. I'm going to keep them. Um, I have the scent. Or not really like a color. But I have the one named the Bushel. The Bushel. So that's what these. I'm going to keep these. I really like them. Next, I have... The um, Shayla Tom's ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. These are fairly new. Like, I don't have to get rid of them, and I really like them. This is Neat Freak. This one is Drippin'. And Drippin' is, like, my favorite one. And I really like it. So I'm going to keep these. Then we have the Ella Ray Tom's ColourPop, ColourPop Gloss in Netta. And I really like this one. So I'm keeping both of these. Then we have another gloss, ColourPop Fudged. The packaging rubbed off. I can't really tell what this says. But I'm keeping this one. And then we have more. We're gonna save the pencils for last. Then we have the ColourPop Tom Disney collection. This is the Lux Lip. This is Belle. And if anyone didn't know, Belle is my favorite princess, Disney princess. And I'd had to get it. Like, it took me forever to get it because I couldn't go on stock. But I love this. I haven't used it yet. I really like it. 
Look at the packaging. It's so pretty. I want to get more, though. I have to see if they're still doing um the... How much... Ooh, sugar. I just dropped it. But, yeah, I have to see if they're doing any... If they have, like, that collection still. I know they have Disney still, but... Because I know they just dropped the Mulan collab. But I didn't want everything in the collection. I just wanted that, like, particular lipstick. And I may get more. Like, I may get Tiana. I may get, um... Tiana don't look I really think of. Because um, I really like that one. I may get, like, some of the villains if they still have that. But if they don't, it's okay. Because I got the one I really wanted. Next, we have more liquid lips. And this is Creeper. Another true red color. I've had this for so long. It can go. And I've had other red colors since then that they came out with that I could use. So we're going to get rid of that. Then, first I keep hitting the, the tripod, you guys. I really do apologize. Let me just scoop, scoop this over here. There we go. We'll just start with these. I'm going to keep these ones. These are lips I also use for my wedding day. This is the color Troublemaker. And take a pixie. Like I mixed these colors together with the BFF liner to get the effect I was going for with my lip color. But I'm going to keep these ones. I really love these ones. And I'm going to keep them out. So I remember to like, oh, I need to film that video. Next we have Beeper, which is an oldie, but a goodie. But it's old, so I have to get rid of it. Then we have Perky. Also old, Lost, which was my only satin lip that I really, really liked from Colourpop. I'm not too much of a satin girl. I really like matte or semi-matte because I know it ain't going nowhere. And then Viper, but I have to get rid of these. And for comparison, Lost is similar to Colourpop's Avenue. But they gotta go because they expired. Then we have... LAX, which is also a good one. But again, I've had it for so long. It got to go. Then we have Avenue. I have two avenues. Yeah, this one is not, like, I haven't used it, so I will keep this one. But this one's old. I've used it and I've had it for way longer than I've had this one. So I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to get rid of LAX because it's old, too. I'm going to keep that one. Then we have Notion. If you wonder, the black ones, are, I think they were limited edition. They came in, like, a pack together. But I don't use them. I haven't used them. I think I just like tried them once or twice and that was it. And then Smitten Playdate, they were really like this one Smitten was really dark. This one, the middle one. But I haven't used them and they're pretty sure they expired at this point. Or if not, I'll check and see if they expire. But if not, I'm gonna give them away. Then we have Bad Habit and More Better. And I know these expired. I just know they're gone. And I haven't worn them in so long. Like they I've gotten use out of them. When I did have them, I know they look really similar. But they gotta go. They expired and I don't really wear them anymore. And I don't really gravitate towards colors like these too, too much. Like the pinkish colors. But yeah. I may have one pink color. I don't know if you see it right there. That looked amazing on the site and in person. And I think that's as like, far as my limit will go. Is like outside the box. So next we'll get into the um, Lux lips, more liquid lips, and these two are from Beauty Spot Store. This is from my local Rite Aid, but we'll hop into that. And I'm going to just put them right back in here if I'm keeping them. If I'm not, I'll take them out completely. I also need to grab a big wipe because it's a little dusty. So first up, we have... Cookie. This was the ColourPop Tom Shayla um, collab. 
but I like it. I was able to make it work, especially when I watched her video on how she does do lips. And I really like it. So I'm keeping this. Then we have ColourPop. Sorry, you guys. I cut off for a minute there. But then we have like the ColourPop Foolish and LA Lady. And I really like these two, so I'm keeping them. Then we have Cinnamon. Cinnamon was ColourPop and Karuchi um, collab. I'm keeping that one. Montrick and Pinkies Up. I'm keeping those as well. I really like their Lux lips. Next we have Brick, which is also ColourPop and Karuchi collab. We have Money Moves and Gallop. And I'm keeping these. I really like them. Next we have a Velvet Blur line. This is Y2K and I really like this color. Next we have Maxed Out. This is the color I'm talking about. Next step out, my box. step out of the box color. This one is really good. I like that color. And we have 27. And I really like that color as well. <clears throat> Lastly, of the Lux Lips, we have 21 Questions. And there, this one's really nice too. And I like this color. Next up, more liquid lips. And we'll start with these two. Again, a little dusty. Next we have Snowflake. Nice off red color, which I really like. It's like a terracotta color. And then we have Starcrossed. And I really like these ones. These are both matte, but I really like them. Then we have Ariba and Rooch. Rooch is um, Colourpop and Karuchi um, collab. I really like this one. I'm going to keep this one. And then we have Ariba, which was I Love Sarai. And color pop collab and i really like this color so i'm keeping them basically all these i'm keeping but i'm just going to show you guys <laughs> <clears throat> next we have this one is also is this a collab yes this is k color pop and karuchi collab and i like this color as well nice brown color and i've wore this i had two of these i wore this one a lot the other one I wore the other one a lot. I got rid of it when I got this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we have Love Bug. This is one of my favorite ColourPop liquid lips. And I really like this one. Oh, I dropped it. But I'm keeping that one. I'm keeping that one. I dropped it right there. Next we have... Very dusty lip products. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, um... We have Mama... And Limbo, Limbo's OG. I think I have a new one of these somewhere that I ha just haven't used, haven't opened. But this has got to go because it's old. And I don't, I don't use it. And it expired. And yeah. And it kind of smells funny. So it got to go. And then Mama, I love this color. I'm keeping this one. I do actually use this one. And I'll pick the other one off the floor that I dropped. Next, the last three lips we have is from Wet and Wild. And the beauty supply store, this is Nika K New York. And that's what it looks like. I got it from the beauty supply store. This is basically what it looks like. But this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. And this is my favorite color. This is in the color Give Me Mocha. And I love this color. I'm going to get another one. This is backup. I always wear this. I'm surprised I haven't read out. But 
ran out yet. But I really love this color. And then I have in the Nika K brand, I have Cocoa Bean, which is really pretty. And Turkish Rose. I'm keeping all of these. We're going to move that over. Now I just have a few lip pencils. I have, I bought this from Primark, these three, four. I bought from Primark. They're pretty good, but I don't reach for them too much. This is Rich Rouge. This one is Merlot. If I said that right. This one is think this one has a name on it yeah i think one of these didn't have a name on it i was gonna looking for it for life i couldn't find it but this is like a this neutral brown color like a like a mauvey brownish color and then we have like a mauvey pink color i don't think this one has a name on it. oh this one's a rosewood mauve <laughs> and i would use these a lot but lately like, I haven't reached for them, and they last for 24 months, and I know I had them for over 24 months. So, these have got to go. And then I had the Wet n' Wild color icon. I had Willow. Not in the frame. Uh, what color is this? Willow. Plumberry. Fab Fuchsia and the Chestnut. And I use these from time to time, but I don't know when they expire. I'm not sure when these expire, but if these are 24 months, then I'm assume these are too. And if that's the case, I've had them for so long, they have to go. Then I had the ColourPop. K lips, K lip liner, and BFF lip liner. I'm keeping these. These are my favorite. I haven't had them for that long, so yeah, I'm gonna keep these. And I don't see, I don't see an expiration on it, so yeah. But maybe it's on their site. But these are going. These are staying. That is it for my lip products. So next we're going to do part three. It's just eye products. So these are all my palettes and my eyelashes. I'm going to keep my eyelashes. I don't have many. So I'm keeping these. Keeping these. And I just use... The Kiss ones, these are the Kiss Individual Eye Envy Premium Lashes. This is the classic short ones. Then this is the Kiss um, Eye Envy Premium ones. Four in one pair. And they're the natural ones. And these ones I got from... Um, these individual ones, they're long. I got this from Shop Missy. But I'm going to keep these two. So yeah, now we have all of these face products. Well, eye products. We're going to start with the individual, like quad, not quad, individual um, Super Shock ones from ColourPop. I have like six of these, if I'm not mistaken. So first we have White Rabbit from ColourPop. I'm going to keep this one. Then we have Tink. This is like a nice brown, not brown, gray color. I haven't used this much. I think I really only liked it because um, my nickname, like, is Tink. Or like... One of my nicknames is Tink. I think that's the only one. The reason I like it. And I really like Tinkerbell. 
but I don't use this. So I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Next, my favorite one is um, Super Shop is Game Face. This is what it looks like. It's like my favorite one. A hit pan. So I'm gonna keep that. Then we have Central Perk. I'll just open this up because it looks kind of. Yeah, this one gotta go. <laughs> And I've had it for a long time, so this one can go. This one is Etiquette Super Shock. Beautiful blue color. I'm going to keep this one. But Central Perk has got to go. Because it's cracking, it's old, and it's probably like expired. Then we have Drift. And I'm going to keep this one. It's really pretty. I thought I had another one. I thought I showed you that. So next we have this is a pressed powder. This is um highlight. Don't want to blind you guys. Highlight. And this is in the color velvet rope. I don't use this one that much. I just use the mirror because I thought I would like it. But I don't like it. I have two ColourPop pressed powder face highlights. But I really don't like this one that much. So I'm going to use it that much. But I'm going to keep it for the... I think I could pop this out to be totally honest. So I'm probably going to get rid of the this. Or give it away to someone who would use it. But I don't use this so I'm not... I don't, I don't want it. But the mirror is really good. Then we have, I'm going to skip those, oh, almost fell, and go to this one. This is um, the ColourPop, like, you could make your own palette, and this was, it was all a dream. This got dirty really quickly, because obviously it's white, but this was the one I was talking about. This is Bay, I think, highlight, yeah, Bay Area, and I really like this one. Then we just had, like, single Oh, put my nail right in there. Single shadows. This one's a milli. I got this when they had like hit a million. I forgot on what. I think it was could have been Instagram. But hit a million. I got it free with the order. Then this one's stay golden. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep all of this. This one is faucet. And this one is like I really like this color. This one is cannonball. I'm keeping that. Next, we're going to jump into these. We have Milani. I do not use this. I tried to. I think I only got this because it was on sale. And I tried to follow this just to see if I could create the look. But I don't use this. I don't reach for this. And I have these colors in a whole bunch of other palettes. And I don't. I mean, it's a good like neutrals palette, but... Like smoky essentials I think is what it's called but I don't use this I don't see myself using it don't see no reason to keep it so I'm gonna get rid of this one then one of my first palettes was the wet and wild one this is the comfort zone one I can't even open it but they're really good it has really good payoff and this is the brow bone eyelid crease definer this is really pretty. I'm going to debate whether I want to part ways with this, but I really like this one. And it just shows you, like, steps of how to create an eye look. I'm going to debate whether I want to get rid of this. But I know you could purchase these at, like, Rite Aid, CVS. I'm not sure about Walmart. But I got mine from Rite Aid. I'm just checking the time, you guys, because I have a meeting at, like... Next, we have the Karuchi Charms ColourPop collab. This is brown sugar. I will be keeping this. I really like it. A good 95% of the palettes I'm keeping, or 80%, I guess I should say. And this is just what it looks like. 
I'm keeping it. I really like it. A good, like, basic neutral palette. And this will come handy in my 90s look. Then we have the Shayla Tom's ColourPop Perception. I'm keeping this. I really love this look. I did film a video using this palette. This is what it looks like. But I'm keeping it. I really like it. My favorite one is um 14, which is this pretty blue color. And of course I like September because that's when I was born. Like, I like, the, like the names I really like. I hope you guys can hear me because if you can't, we're going to do a voiceover <laughs> or we're going to play music in the background. But yeah, I'm keeping that. Next we have... We'll just do the color pop ones. We have the Mar, and I'm gonna keep this one. This is like blues, I think. They have um Soul, which is like more of the red ones, but I opted for this one. They might still have these. I know they have like a whole bunch of different colors. Like they have like watermelon, peach. Correct me if I'm wrong. They have like purples or lilac i'm not sure what it's called but similar ones to this they redid the packaging now this one is all blue instead of white the sole one is all is red instead of white and then we have the element of surprise i don't use this that much so i'm probably gonna get rid of this one This is I think I love you. This is what it looks like. I really like the colors. Now I'm gonna keep keep this palette. See if I put it back in the box. Then we have the yes please palette, and I really like this one. I may film a look with this one. Nice springy look. Okay, next we are going to do the two weird cosmetic palettes I have. This one is Take Me Back to Brazil. And this is what it looks like. I don't feel like opening it. And then other one is take me back to brazil the rio edition i haven't played with these yet but i will be this is what the back looks like then just really quick these are like the brow brow kit um and then i got like the brow gel two brow pencils and the brow pomade this is black and brown pomade and I have ash brown and is this black and brown as well? Yep. I have ash brown and black and brown. And this is in the color soft black. The kit. So I'm keeping this of course. Then we have these four palettes. Morphe palettes. This is the Morphe 350. The OG I could open it without breaking a nail. That would be great. This is what it looks like. I know you probably see my reflection in plastic. But I've had these for so long. I don't really reach for it. So I'm probably going to give them away. Same with the 350 neutrals. I'm going to give those away. When I say giveaway, you guys, like, I'm probably giving away to my family. Or I have, like, nieces that are into makeup. You never know. Or friends who are, um, practicing makeup. So, I might just give them away. Next, we have the Morphe 25G palette. And the Morphe Dare to Create palette. 
the decorated pile is the one I did my wedding look with, if I remember correctly. I to take it out the packaging. Nope, this is not the one I did my wedding one, but this is just what it looks like. That just means I did my wedding look with this one. Two five G glam. Yep. The colors you see used is the one I used my wedding look on, but I will recreate this look for you guys. That I am keeping these. The first time I actually used either of these plows was like one practicing my wedding look I was going for and doing my actual wedding day makeup. So I'm gonna put these away. 